While it is easy for us to visualize a river of flowing water moving at a rapid pace, the atmosphere can house another type of river that drastically affects our storm patterns. I'm meteorologist Mark Tamayo. Today, we're gonna to cover the basics of atmospheric rivers. What is an atmospheric river? Where do they form? And how do they affect our weather patterns? Atmospheric rivers are long flowing bands of water vapor that move through the sky. They can be just 250 miles wide and extend over 1,000 miles in length. They are the largest rivers of fresh water on the planet and are responsible for over half of California's annual precipitation. The origin of these vapor rivers can be found in the warm waters of the tropical Pacific. The warm water in this region evaporates and generates high concentrations of moisture in the air. That water vapor carried by the winds is the key element and has the potential to produce excessive rain and snow once it hits the west coast. This so-called river in the sky can carry the equivalent of more than twice the water of the Amazon. The strength of an atmospheric river can be evaluated by looking at two different components. How much water vapor is in the sky and the duration of the rain event. A scale has been created to help describe the impacts ranging from level one to hazardous level five. Water is expected to rise, please evacuate. A level five atmospheric river targeted the Bay Area in October of 2021. The early season storm produced 60 foot waves, 80 mile per hour winds, and daily rain totals that range from four inches in San Francisco to over 11 inches in Kentfield. The last water year was a busy one with 46 atmospheric rivers. This map shows the different paths across the Pacific and the eventual landfall. A team from the Scripps Institution of Oceanography has been fueling important research. They release weather balloons before atmospheric rivers move on shore. They also work with the hurricane hunters to fly into the clouds and collect important data. More information on atmospheric rivers can be found on the Scripps website. We have a link on KTVU.com. Thanks for watching.